Hello everyone, I am Nitij and today we are going to learn how to implement breadcrumbs in a React application using React Router and we will style the breadcrumbs with Tailwind CSS. So breadcrumbs are a great way to improve user navigation on your website by providing a clear path to each previous page the user navigated through. Breadcrumbs are basically a secondary navigation scheme that reveals the user's location in a website or application. They provide a trail for the user to follow back to the starting or entry point and are especially useful in websites with multiple layers of content hierarchy. So this is the existing application that we are going to work with. Over here we already have a basic routing already set up for simulating a blog and blog post structure so for instance this is the blog page you can see that um, the url path is blog and then this is the individual blog post so we can click on any one of these links to open up a different blog post based on the slug value of the blog post now what we are going to do is we will implement breadcrumbs for this entire blog routing setup before we start to do it, let's first think about how we are going to do this solutioning. So what we can do is we can use the use location hook provided by react router DOM to get all the path names in the current location. Then we can use those path names to construct the breadcrumbs using the link component, which can also be imported from the react router DOM package. This is the sample application which you were just seeing in the browser and over here you can see that we have react router DOM as well as tailwind already installed. So let's get started with implementing our breadcrumbs. First let's create a new folder in the already existing components folder. The new folder name can be breadcrumbs and then inside this folder we can create a new file with the name index.jsx. Let's start with importing the dependencies that we are going to need. The first one is going to be use location and the second one is going to be the link component. Now let's create the breadcrumbs component. So const breadcrumbs equals to a new arrow function. And this is going to be a functional component and let's also export it as a default module. So export default and then bread crumbs all right now first fetch all the path names by using the use location hook so const location equals to use location and then const path names equals to location dot path name and we just need to split it using the forward slashes which basically act as separators for different url segments Let's also use the filter over here to only get the valid segments. All right, now it's time to return the breadcrumbs. The first thing that we are going to do is we will use the nav element because as I have already mentioned, breadcrumbs are also helping in navigation. So we can use the nav element for breadcrumbs. Let's provide the class names. So class names are going to be text blue and then 500 so these are tailwinds utility classes and y margin is going to be 4 now let's add an unordered list and for that i'm going to set this list styling as a flex box the first list item that we need to add is going to be for our home page link so what we are going to do is we will add the link element and then it is going to print home and for two it is going to point towards forward slash so let me also show you our routing setup which is currently in place so as you can see over here we are using the use routes hook to implement the different routes so this is the home page which is being mapped with just a forward slash for blog page we are using the blog segment name for individual posts we are using blog and then the posts slug value as the parameter for any other url which is not supported we are using a catch all route which is basically redirecting to our home page by using the navigate component 
so when we say do equals to forward slash it simply means that this link is going to navigate towards the home page now let's style this link as well now let's iterate over all the different path names that we have fetched in the previous step so that can be done by adding an expression and path names dot map and then we are going to add a function as an argument which is going to run for each segment so value and then its index now the logic that we will use over here is to check if the current segment is the last segment or not if it is not the last segment then it needs to be rendered as a link if it is the last segment then it needs to be rendered as a plain text so to check if it's the last segment or not we can simply check the index value so const last equals to index if it equals to path names dot length minus one so if index is the last array item then it will be the last element now for the current segment we need to construct the url towards which it is going to point so const two equals to let's use a template string over here so first a forward slash now based on the index of this current segment we need to construct the path name so that can be done by picking up all the segments leading up to this current segment so path names dot slice and then we will start from the first index and then we will go up to index plus one so this is going to include our current segment as well and now we can simply join these items which we have fetched by using the forward slash separator next we need to fetch the current segment value so i'm going to name it as title for now for our blog post so title equals to value now from this function we can return individual list items so return and let me just scroll up a little bit so list item and then the key for this list item is going to be the value for two because it is going to be unique for each breadcrumb segment now let's first add a span to indicate a forward slash and i am also going to style it using tailwind by simply adding some margins around it on the x-axis now we need to check if it is the last segment or not if it is the last segment then we are going to render just the text so that can be done by adding a span and then simply adding the title directly which is going to be the title for our blog post or it can also be our blog page if it is not the case if it is not the last segment then we have to render a link so link and then the text is going to be title and the links to value is going to be the path that we are constructing in each iteration let's add some styling information to this span and to this link as well now this is i think all we need to do to construct the breadcrumbs now over here it seems that i have done a typo so let's use location.pathname now to use this breadcrumbs component i'm going to open up app.js file and let's first import our breadcrumbs so import breadcrumbs and then i'm going to place it right above our app roots component so breadcrumbs all right all right so this is our breadcrumbs component now to test it let's first open up the blog page you can see that blog is printed over here and for all of these individual blog post we can simply click on it now you can see over here the breadcrumbs are printing the slug value for individual blog post now this is not very user friendly because for a user this value means nothing for the url this might be helpful for search engine optimization or for our backend database to identify or to associate each blog post with a slug value but for user over here the blog post title should be written instead of this not so helpful slug value so what we can do is we can create a slug service now in a real application the slug service might fetch the blog post titles from the slug by simply querying a database on the network but in our case we can simply use a dictionary to do that now 
to implement this slug service i am going to create a new folder in the src folder with the name services and then in this folder i will create a new file with the name slug service.js now in this file first i'm going to add a dictionary to map slug values to blog post titles so on the left side the slug is the key and on the right side the title is the value you can add as much slug to title mappings as you need to test your application now we need a function to convert this slug to title so let's create a new function and export it as well so export const convert slug to title and this can have the argument for the slug and let's have it as an arrow function so to return the title from the slug we can use the dictionary directly like this we can use the slug value as the key for the dictionary to fetch the title but sometimes it could be the case that the slug value is not available in the dictionary to handle those situations what we can do is we can add a fallback logic which will simply replace all the hyphens with spaces and it will capitalize the first character of each word now to do it first we need to replace all the hyphens this can be done by using a simple pattern matching next to capitalize the first character of each word first we need to split this slug value by using all the white spaces so dot split by using an empty white space now this entire expression is going to represent an array of all the individual words of the slug so for each individual word to capitalize the first character we can use the array dot map so dot map and then we are going to convert to uppercase the first character and then we will concatenate the rest of the word and finally we will convert this into a string by using array dot join by using the empty white space as the separator now let's use this convert slug to title in our breadcrumb component so first i'm going to import it so import convert slug to title and over here when we are fetching the titles value we can simply call this function convert slug to title and then provide this value as an argument this time you can see that we are not seeing the slug value in the breadcrumbs we are simply seeing the blog post title so let's test out some other blog post values as well this logic is also working for our blog segment so because blog segment is not there in our dictionary it is simply capitalizing the first character of blog which is also helpful for the user and guys that is everything this video has to offer we have created the breadcrumbs component and styled it using tailwind css now you know how to enhance your website's navigation experience if you found this video helpful then please consider subscribing this channel for more content like this thanks for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial